Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. It's me, Candace the Aries. And some things you just really wish weren't true. Check this out, guys. When police showed up to the Create and Bake Pizzeria and the adjoining Coffin's Creamery, they thought there was a robbery in progress. The two restaurants were trashed inside. Racial slurs were spray-painted on the walls, including the N-word, the word monkey, swastikas, and MAGA. Officers tracked down the business owner, 31-year-old Edon Kaufman, a former NFL player. He was sitting in his truck with a hoodie and gloves on. Behind him was a bed full of newly unmounted flat-screen TVs. He said that uh, he was the victim of a burglary that occurred earlier in the day and that he was just coming back to the business to retrieve those items. The license plate was inside the truck. What? Bro, what are you talking about? It also revealed the fact that there were two cans of spray paint and also a yellow crowbar. The yellow crowbar is important because the back of the business had some yellow pry marks on the back door, indicating that it, somebody had tried to use it to break into the back door. Kaufman told police the vandalism happened earlier in the day, but the smell of fresh paint told a different story. If the burglary and the vandalism had occurred earlier in the day, like he told us, that paint would not still be wet. This was not a hate crime. Uh, we believe that Mr. Kaufman is responsible for all of the vandalism inside the business. Word. This feeling real juicy smoulier-ish. Uh, first of all, I don't even know like what this man could have possibly, literally, he did the worst job that you could ever possibly have done. You got... Why you got flat screens in your car? Why? <laughs> you big dummy. Why? Overboard with the racism is like a pretty dead giveaway for a lot of stuff. It's like, so they did MAGA, they did the N-word, and like all of this swastikas are like complete overkill and you thought they were gonna believe that because why because it looked real bad you spray painted monkey and just super super racist even more racist than i would think a racist person would be when vandalizing someone's property it's literally like this is a situation where maybe you should have just left the criminality to the criminals. I don't understand what was going through this man's head. I do not understand why he thought he would have gotten away with this. It's literally like robbing a bank and then sitting outside of the bank with all the money in your car. They found everything fairly quickly out of all of the crowbars in all of the hardware stores. You got a yellow one. A yellow one. To be sure, did she say yellow? A yellow crowbar. Yes. A yellow one. That left yellow paint on the back door when you attempted to try to make it look like someone tried to pry the door open. But let's just go back and talk about how when it happened, normally when someone is vandalized or anything illegal is done, they tend to want to contact the cops. Not this guy. Police say Kaufman hadn't called police. Instead, he'd called his insurance company about the alleged burglary. That's what people whose property have been vandalized that's what they do. They call the insurance company, perhaps to make sure that the claim is gonna go through so that you can get your money. Now you're going to jail. Now you don't have to worry about um, losing any more money at your place of business because you've lost all your money and you've lost your freedom because you tried to pass this off as a hate crime. I don't even know 
what they're going to do to you, sir, but it's not going to be nice. It is getting like to be too much now. It's like, so is this the, is this the new thing that we're doing? We're vandalizing our own properties and saying that racist people did it. It's very, very sad, very, very badly done. You literally use fresh spray paint, then you contacted your insurance company and then contacted the cops. So the cops get there and the paint is still fresh because you just did it because you're so smart. I always try to tell people, why do people try to outsmart the cops? Like, they went to school for this. Like, they're literally trained to break apart situations like this to make sure that they're factual situations. And you couldn't even have done it at night so when you actually contacted them the paint would have been dry you still would have gotten caught because you do dumb things you win dumb prizes so you still would have gotten caught but um uh, that might have been one thing that they could have like maybe like x'd off the list until later on when they figured out that you had done that as well i just feel like it didn't work the first time, so why would you think it would work for you? I don't know. I feel like people may feel that racist people are like super, super just outwardly racist. Even with the administration that we have, racist people still tend to sit back because they still have jobs and they still have livelihoods that they have to be mindful of. I personally think that it was overkill and that possibly could have been one of the dead giveaways. So we have monkey and swastikas and the N-word and MAGA because you can't forget MAGA. I just really wish that I could have been inside of one of those investigators heads when they went in there and saw the fresh paint and all of the super, super racist things that were spray painted on the walls. And I just wanna know like, what was their mind frame? Like, really? Really? And now you're in jail looking like this. Sad, sad, sad. We gotta do better people. It's not hard. It's not hard. Word to the wise, if you're trying to do something like this, uh, the outward racism, like the extreme outward racism is a giveaway. I don't even feel like the most racist person would even be able to think up that many racist things to write on a wall in a short period of time when you're trying to like vandalize a place and then get right out of there. I don't um, get it. Maybe it's not for me to get. Um, because I would never, ever, ever think to do anything like this if I owned a business, period. But, you know, sometimes desperation causes people to do desperate things. And sometimes that desperation will get you put in jail. I am definitely going to be sitting back waiting to see how this unfolds. Um, he thought... His day was bad and it has exponentially gotten worse. So, I'm gonna leave it there. If you guys like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, that's gonna be it for me, Candace the Aries, and always remember to enjoy the journey. Dip, dip.